Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope everybody is having an awesome Sunday. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. I come to you from a funicular. The funicular up to the St. Regis Deer Valley here in beautiful Park City, Utah. If you guys like four GTs, Today's video is for you. You see, I told you, I told you it was a beautiful day here in Park City, Utah. If you didn't see the last video, the Ford GT Owners Club is here in Utah for a couple days. Today's the last day of the event. They're going on a drive. I'm gonna hop into one of these GTs. I'm not sure which one quite yet, but uh, well, I, you, you really can't go wrong with any of them. Things are starting to happen. We got Ford GTs everywhere. I am telling you, once again, Goodness gracious, Montana, Montana. Here it is, here it is. If today's video gets 150,000 likes, I'm taking a supercar road trip up to Montana. I'm gonna go hunt down some hypercars. <laughs> that is so cool. That's so awesome, dude. Thank you. Oh, Ford, why did you not put that? <laughs> this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is my ride. Riviera Blue, we got the frog green. We're shutting down Park City, the Ford GT squad. We're causing a little bit of chaos here. So there is a car show in Park City today, so naturally, before we go on the drive, well, well, we, we gotta drive by and just say hi. You know, as you do. Yeah, guy. Thank you. You're a hero. A real hero driving a Cadillac. America! America, well played. hardest thing to convey is sound on a YouTube video. This car is glorious. It's so well balanced. And the brakes, boys, the brakes. Wow. <laughs> that was like next level right there. Yeah, once you get into it, it's pretty good. Goodness. <laughs> you guys couldn't see that, but the brakes, I almost just hit the dashboard, the brakes. There are some drives you're never gonna forget. This is one of them, this is one of them. Sounds so good. <laughs> you can actually feel it getting weaker as we go up the mountain. Because the elevation, yeah. right. Yeah, we're probably at, at 7,000 now. <laughs> wow, wow, America, America. Definitely never forgetting my first time going full throttle in a 2017 Ford GT. What a view. We're here in the Wasatch Mountains just above Park City. Goodness gracious. This portion of the vlog, this is to all the Ford execs who are watching this video, which is none of you, but you guys have to build a Roadster second gen GT. From a design standpoint, I'm not sure exactly how it would look, whether it just be, you know, like an open top Roadster, or if it would have a, you know, a retractable hard top of some sort. If Ford did decide to build a Roadster, what are they gonna do with these flying buttresses? There's actually tubing, you can see this intercooler right in here in this intake. It actually funnels up air through this buttress into the engine bay so it's it's functional not just from an aero standpoint so they can't necessarily just delete that but imagine just imagine the look of this car if this wasn't here and you just had these massive <laughs> I, it could be pretty interesting it's not like if you own a first gen and you get a second gen you sell your first gen no you keep it because you want both the cars are so dramatically different this of course has the semi-automatic gearbox the first gen has the manual transmission this has the butterfly doors that has the v8 this has the v6 so honestly you want both i mean that, that kind of goes without saying doesn't it all right guys we're getting the hookups we're getting the inside information <laughs> yeah, not right. much room. Yeah, so we got our windshield washer fluid right here. Yeah, there's no no room for anything. Who's that? Oh, that's Billy Johnson. Okay. He raced at Le Mans. Okay, he very races. cool. And then if we scoot around here to the back, you can get a look at the boot. So, as you can see, the ideal road trip car, really, when you think about it. This is the Police Interceptor, a.k.a. the Enzo Beater. There you go. Don't have any spare tires. 
<laughs> what I do is I travel with a patching kit. Okay. If I were to pick up a nail and it's leaking, I would just patch the tire. Well, you're right. driving this back to Texas, oh, right? Yeah. That's right. miles home. God bless Texas. Yeah. Okay, I, I have to. I have to get this angle. This is the coolest time ever. I've gotten this shot. That flying buttress. Ford GT in the back. <laughs> There's the Montage Deer Valley. I used to work there in the basement. Those were the days. I don't know if you guys saw all the news stories all over the interwebs, but when I filmed that yellow Chiron, that became my Bumble profile picture, I actually shut down Bumble. They weren't very happy with me, and they're really not going to be happy with me now. McLaren P1 owners, R.I.P. Ford GT key, yeah, pretty much, pretty much like a Wyra. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much the same thing. So obviously this is the thumbnail. We gotta get both doors open up. Of course the Ford GT has the butterfly doors, Riviera blue, what a spec, what a spec. The base of Mount Timpanogos and there's a grill down this path somewhere. In general, in my limited experience, if it has the term grill, it's usually pretty good because that means burgers, that means steak. Grill usually means a good thing. Did I get the Black Angus Wagyu? Not really sure what Wagyu is, but that's what I'm getting. Anybody? Wagyu? It's, it's a fake no idea. Kobe beef. Is it really? Yeah. Really? Oh, hmm. I'm pretty sure. There you have it. I could be completely <laughs> wrong. Okay, it could be more to come. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Dude, you got bacon. You can't not get bacon. Oh, well, now bacon I'm regretting my burger. decision. I got no bacon. It's all good. Can we yeah, get it's all good. It's all good for you, not for me. Because you got the bacon. I'm a smart man. What do you man. expect? All the GTs are starting to assemble. We're rolling. This color, this color, I can't get over it. The dash right there, so we're in sport mode. There's a couple different modes. You'll also note that the fuel economy is at 11.6 miles to the gallon. One of the really cool, unique features of these tail lights, air actually flows through. I don't know if you guys can see that. Brighten up, brighten up. You can see it's a vent. I love the cool design touches on this. This one also has the carbon fiber wheel option. 15 grand for the carbon fiber wheels, but well, you need them, you need them. 11 and a half gallons, we were pretty much on empty. That's a small tank. Yeah, it's like uh, 13 13 gallons, oh, okay. Maybe it's 14. What kind of mileage? Not on the track. Normally it gets around 17, 18, I think average. Oh, that's not bad, 17, 18, not bad. Interior on the GT is really cool. I love these seats. You got the carbon fiber back seats, really nice view of that 3.6 liter V6. And naturally, another GT pulled up next to us. Got that manual transmission, all the cool gauges, the different switches and whatnot. This is a much more analog supercar than the second gen. Really, really cool. You gotta be careful getting out that you don't bump your head though. These doors are like a guillotine. This is the this is your lifting system, aka race mode. You got your suspension settings, traction control, engine start stop button. So this is GT number 40. This is VIN number 40. Pretty cool, Dave. Especially got that one. Just all the cool dimensions really make this interior. You got Alcantara everywhere, carbon fiber overload, just like we like it. Got your different driving modes right there. Your blinkers here on the steering wheel as well. You got your radio controls, all sorts of all sorts of stuff. And I love these gear shifters, just the cool design, the cool design of those paddles. This has 1,721 miles. Not bad for like, what, two months of ownership? Oh, yes. Okay, so this is track mode right here. Car drops into its track mode. You feel the suspension raising up. We're in sport mode now. And this is just your, your boring normal mode. And then we also have a wet mode.
So I have officially decided that the Ford GT is the most American car ever. I don't know if you can see, but the dash insert on this GTX one, polarizer right there. Look at the dash. You got the stars and stripes. And of course, keeping up with that same theme, God bless Texas, America. It's official, I'm never forgetting the day I went ham in a second gen Ford GT. I can't thank Dave enough from Ford GT Forum for inviting me out today. The Ford GT Owners Club, the nicest group of owners I've ever met. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.